Hello, hello everyone. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, today I'm going to press um, the candle jars in a 20 ounce tumbler. You guys asked if it can be done. My The six ounce ones I did in the oven, check out that video. So these are the 10 ounce. Um, I'm going to um, do in a 20 ounce tumbler press. Um, you do have to rotate it. There is um, a seam still showing, so you still have to rotate it. So first time um, doing it. So we're going to um, see. I'm going to do about, they recommend about the max five minutes, three to five um, minutes. Um, in the oven, it's pretty much like seven minutes. So, um, so we're going to see. So I got my heat press set at, I believe it's, um, 371 or whatever. So we're going to try it and see. Um, I set it for 350. Uh, I mean one, 150 seconds, and then I'm going to rotate it because um, I might forget to rotate it. So I didn't want to do the whole 300 seconds. This, oops, I might forget to rotate it. So we're gonna see how these, how, how this comes out. So I'm just taping and um, I just measure from around top and bottom and um, I put those measurements in my program. Um, the elements I got today are, um, from Creative Fabrica and then I just put, um, put them together. So if you do click on the link and you only see like it's, you know, one thing, um, but I got them and put it together and made my own design. And of course I didn't bring scissors. I don't think. Let me get some scissors. So, just know that, that I just didn't go get a design and print it. I went and got the different elements and put it together. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit like, follow, see what I'm doing next. So, I'm going to just put a big tape right there. Smooth it out. And we'll see how this one comes out. I'm hoping it's a lot easier than the oven, digging out the shrink wrap, digging out the oven, and all that. This is about, I printed two of these um, on 11 by 8 by 11 paper. So you can print two designs on. Um, and if you Put it in and your blank moves and all that and you can't adjust it you can try the silicone um, pad and um, see how um, if that gives it that more snug because when you put your blank in it shouldn't move it should be nice and snug in there all right and these are come with the little bamboo lid um, so we're gonna try it out let me get this other one. Make sure you wipe it down. Um, you know, from any hand prints or anything. Okay, so let's do it. The first one is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it also in copy paper. Just for if it bleeds out, it doesn't transfer. Oh, that was really small. Okay, let's Take that side that I cut off, huh? Then I can stop beeping him. 
at me. So the temperature dropped anyways. All right, there we go. Whew, I'm a little nervous. Like I said in the other video, I never really done glass. So we're all going to learn together. Okay, so here's my seam. I'm going to put my seam down. And I'm going to push it right in the middle. Right in the middle. All right. We're going to close it. No. We're going to have to adjust. All right. Um, I think this timer does not change until Just in case, I'll set it for three minutes. Okay, it is finally counting. So a lot of tumblers are, presses are different. A lot of them don't count until it reaches the temperature it needs to reach. So let's go ahead and let's put our other design on. Wow, that one is cooking. I line this one up good. Take the lid off. There we go. It's like, wait a minute. All right, 80 seconds and then I will rotate. Give myself just a little um, just a little um, bleed over. And the good thing is since they're glass, you can totally um, see the inside, see it cooking, and everything. Let me get my little thing. Got 50 seconds, and then we'll rotate it and cook it again. But I already see the image coming through, I believe. But you know what? Yeah, this one, yeah. So we'll see if we're gonna overcook it, undercook it, or what. But I'm all for trying it in a tumbler press, in the oven. In the oven you do shrink wrap, you know, and all that. Or you can tape it really good. Okay, there we go. Just slide it out some, rotate it. Put it back in the middle and close it. And it shouldn't be that hard. I think it's because I put the copy paper on. So that was, that timer was set for three minutes. So three to five minutes is what I can find on social media and everything. But I think three minutes um, should work. So 300 seconds should work. Let me take this one. Then we can um, get it ready. Not you 
five seconds. And you gotta remember the, the temperature does drop and come back up. Right, make sure your transfer is on there tight and it doesn't um, move. The seconds I will leave all the links in the description um these designs I pretty much got put together so um like the flowers leaves those are all different elements that I put together placed them where I wanted to um place them so if you see the design it's not going to be a full design it's not going to be like the image that you see it I basically engineered it, got different elements, and um, put it together. To make it different, you want it different. You don't want to have the same design as everybody else. You want to be unique. Then when someone sees it, they're like, oh, you know. Because you get all this, can you do this? Can you do this? It's like, why not do your own twist to it? There we go. So 300 seconds we did. I can see it inside. It looks beautiful. And of course, I don't have nails. And I didn't bring my... And I just wanna check it before I put the next one in to see if I have to adjust anything or anything like that. Definitely gonna need to get my, my You gotta be careful too with these. They do um oh my gosh. They do oh there we go. They do um scratch easily. Beautiful. Let me show you guys. So 300 seconds. I did. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm loving the colors. Let me see. I can't show you guys the inside because it's still hot. Let me see. Nope. Still can't figure out how to show you guys. I have to wait for it to cool down, probably. But. Beautiful. I think on the bottom, I could probably go a little bit longer. On the bottom. Let me see. Yeah, so. Maybe go a little bit longer. Let's set it for, let's see, we're at 350 for three. So let's do, um, seventy. Um, let's do. Let's just add ten more seconds because ten more seconds is easier to do the math. So it'd be three twenty. Maybe not. Let's do. Um, let's just up it. So let's do 365. There we go. 365, I mean 165, gosh. 165 plus 165, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, and then I rotate it. We're at three, I guess we're at 375. 
all the way down, 374. Yeah, because I think I put on 370. Yeah, it's set on 370. All right, so here's my seam. Let's go ahead and put it down. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. There we go. That one's still a little warm. Let me see. Beautiful colors. And I'll shut the light off and um, put a candle in it when it cools down. So not too bad on my seam. That's a lot better than normal. And it is supposed to have light spots up there. So nice, nice. Very happy with it. I'm so happy that I can do it in a 20 ounce tumbler press and don't have to dig out the oven and less time in the oven. It's recommend anywhere from five to eight minutes, depending on your oven, shrink wrap, heat tape, whatever kind of tape you're going to use for the oven. I rather do it on here and do it for, you know, 350, 350 um, seconds then um, dig all that out. And then you knock it out faster too. Because in the oven, I think I did one or two at a time. But, um, well, I don't have any more of these. I have to get more. I was gonna say, um, well, it's a 20 ounce tumbler. These are 10 ounces. So you can probably do two at the same time. Um, probably have to cook it longer because the, of course the temperature will drop and all that. Let's see. Oh, this seam didn't, I didn't tape this seam good. I can already see the seam coming through. Man. Yeah, you can probably put two in there. Be bad. So this one was done at 150 seconds twice. This one is done at 165 seconds twice. So we just added pretty much, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, just to see. Because I, if you don't have to overcook it and over bake it, then why? You know? Very gorgeous, gorgeous. It's still a little warm, but they do cool down fast. I'm gonna um, put the little candle in and show you guys. This one is, um, this one does have black in it and stuff and it's more vibrant. It's supposed to be more vibrant, but this one really came out really good. I think I'm feeling the, but also too, it depends on your design. Rotate, put it back in there. I'm definitely gonna um, adjust my pressure because it, sh it shouldn't be that tight. So the temperature dropped, it's not counting, so technically it's counting, you know. So I got this, I'll leave the link to this candle on Amazon. It feels like wax and everything. And the little thing is, um, adjusted this one i got at the dollar tree but you can get it on amazon too so there we go let's um since we're waiting i can shut the light off and uh show you let me see maybe wrap it up in a black then you can kind of see Gorgeous, beautiful. So that's the this candle from Amazon. And then this one, and then, oh yeah, I gotta show you the box. 
two to put them in. This one's not too, you know, very dim. Oh, you can see it. All right. Let me get the box and I'll show you. I didn't dig out the tissue, but I'll leave the box, um, the link to the box also. We got 90 seconds. So real easy to put together. Gives you a little extra that comes with it. Drop it in, put some tissue, and then drop your box. And this is a 10 ounce one. Um, this box will fit 11 ounce mugs also. If you um, turn them, there we go. And then I print my custom sticker and um, put it here. Then they don't have to open the box to see what's in it. They know exactly what design is on it. Really cool. And then easy to take apart. There you go. Nice. Um, I think it has like a gloss finish to it and all that. So I will leave the link in the description for you guys. Looks like my camera did not adjust to when I shut the light off. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, 20 seconds. So I'll leave the link for the Amazon candle. You can get these two. Um, I would get a brighter one. This one's very dim. So I'll post pictures in the group. Then you guys can see them when it gets dark and all that. So make sure you guys join the group. Gorgeous. Let's check it. Well, we don't need to check it. It's done now. So let me shut that off. Push this out. There we go. Move that out of the way. I didn't cut, do my seam too well on here. Maybe I did. Maybe it might might have adjusted. And if you guys follow me, um, you know exactly what I like. There we go. Gorgeous. Oh, my seam is pretty good. Beautiful. Look at those colors, gorgeous. And I'll take pictures and post it in the group. Beautiful. Let's see. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's see. I'm just looking at the black and all that. And it looks like it came out like my image. So, like I was stating before, the different elements. So, the tiger is an element. The butterfly is an element. The flowers are elements. The sunset. Um, these, all these flowers are different elements. Let me play with this. So, the koala bear. This flower, that flower, that flower, that, and the leaves and everything. Those are all different elements individually layered that I placed it where I wanted. You can see the little branch a little bit coming together. So those are all different elements. So you can go get all the elements and put it together and place it like you like. I'm all, I love my koala bears and I love my tigers. Gorgeous. Beautiful colors. I am totally loving the heat press, the tumbler press to do it in. Look at those colors in there. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the tumbler press over the oven. So if you guys haven't checked out the other videos, I did two other videos doing it in the oven. So. Make sure you guys like, follow, um, join the group. Let's create together, share our experiences, 
and go from there. I'm truly happy with the outcome. I am, I can't wait to get more. <laughs> they were so much easier to do it this way. So thanks you guys for all the support, the following, the inspiring, your feedback, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video doing it in a 20 ounce tumbler press versus the oven. I'm liking the outcome. I'm liking the pressure, the colors, but remember if you do watercolors, they're very light. So you're going to have to go in your settings and a chase and um, a set them just like I did with this. I did a lot of shadowing. I did a lot of adjustments to get that to be able to pop the way it does. This time I did. Yep. I just didn't hit print. All right, you guys, until next time, have a good one. Bye.